with day four reviews. The first match of the day was between Group E's Germany and Japan. Going into this game, Germany looked like a strong squad to face Japan. Although Japan cannot be underestimated, they have consistently qualified to the World Cup from Asia and a very strong team. They've always been in the past couple of World Cups. If you look at Japan, uh, they've been a team that has been upcoming, that has been you know waiting for that opportunity to make it past the round of 16. That's the best they've achieved in the past World Cups, but they've been consistent and. It is now time for Asia to come through and start competing with those big giants, the European giants and you know the, the big club, big teams, big countries from across the world and Japan did just that. They consistently put pressure on Germany, they, they forced Neuer to bring out his A game. Had it not been for Neuer, this scoreline could have easily been 3 or 4 goals. Uh, Germany did manage to get one goal which was scored by Gunduan through penalty. Germany did have some chances and looked to get their momentum in the game in the second half. But uh, Japan's manager made some incredible changes when he brought on a very experienced Minamino, Mitoma and Duan, who all combined to get that second goal for Japan. This upset has just made the Group E really interesting where there are other teams like Spain and Costa Rica present as well. And when before the World Cup started, uh, everyone expected Germany to top or maybe Spain and Germany to be in that top two spots. But Japan getting that win against Germany has made things really interesting. Now, Germany will be under pressure. Costa Rica would probably be a team where every other team would try to get maximum points, maximum goal against because at the end of the day, the goal difference might be, you know, that makes the difference between the team that qualifies for the next round and the one that does not. The other match of Group E between Spain and Costa Rica ended in a 7-0 thrashing of Costa Rica. They were completely outplayed. Costa Rica seemed like they did not even exist in that match because if you talk about possession, it was 85% possession of uh, in favour of Spain. There were more chances created but a huge positive for Spain is a big start. An important start and getting multiple players on the score sheet. Uh, Ferran Torres scoring, Asensio who started ahead of Morata uh, scored um, in the early minutes of the game. Olmo for me was the key for Spain today. He was picked up to start uh, in the starting 11. He looked really interesting. He he was running on the, on the left flank, uh, scored the opening goal but you know, played that important uh, part in that on that left wing, combined well with the other uh, attacking players. Of course, Gavi and Busquets and Pedri played a very, very important role in terms of keeping the possession, which was expected. Uh, but Gavi and Pedro, what quality players, they complement Busquets really well, where Busquets sits behind Gavi and Pedri doing the hard work. Uh, Busquets sitting behind, supplying that uh, long balls with accuracy. Switching the play from uh, from one flank to a flank to another um, was a really good start for uh, for Spain, but Costa Rica didn't really put up a fight against Spain. So not really a test of how good they how good Spain really is. Um, I think Costa Rica just didn't come into the match, and uh, it would not be you know fair to assume that Spain looked like the best side although the next upcoming games of this group are going to be really really interesting to see how good Spain really is. The other game of group F between Morocco and Croatia ended in a 0-0 draw where there was not much uh, to decide between the two teams uh, only in the first half Croatia looked more and more attacking uh, Perisic and Modric combined well to create a few chances um, but other than that, there wasn't much of uh, you know end-to-end -end actions or in terms of chances created or even shots on target. Both the goalkeepers weren't tested much. Much I think uh, uh, Livakovic was forced to make one save uh, against a very strong shot of uh, Hakimi. Other than that, there was not much in this match, uh, which makes it really interesting for Group F, where the other teams present are Belgium and Canada, who where uh, right now uh, the match is still going on and Belgium is leading 1-0 against the run of play because Canada this time 
who's uh, who's been the champion of CONCACAF uh, is looking really really strong created more chances Cortua has already saved a penalty and made some important crucial saves for Belgium and again um, I think going forward Belgium will again rely heavily on Cortua and the performance of the defence if they want to make a deep run in this World Cup.